Hello and welcome to Jinzo Lego Shack. Today I'm gonna make a video of uh, updating my uh, Bricklink wanted list. Last night, uh, while I was sorting my latest uh, purchase, the bulk, I um, it w there were like lots of special parts. Let me first play some music first. <laughs> like I, I'm just keep stammering and I'm like keep forgetting what to say. Okay, it was crazy, cra uh, crazy last night, all through the night, like almost like 2 a.m. in the morning, and I took a shower before I go to bed. But uh, I couldn't forget about the gray sphere that I could not get, and the red disc, <clears throat> the seller didn't include it, sending it over. And I've um, messaged this person and asked what, like, whatever happened to those pieces, and he said. Well, he did not say sorry, but he's just, you know, you know, almost like a, I almost feel like I'm the one, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be whinging about it long and long and longer, but <clears throat> I should stop now. And then I, I could not forget about the, uh, the feeling, the, the feeling of loss, and that made me uh, to do something different, uh, try something different this time to update. To, to update my uh, Bricklink wanted list. So let's go to the, my own uh, Bricklink wanted list first. Oh yeah, this one. Last night when I was like sorting the pieces, I could not find out uh, um, what this was, or I couldn't find it on, I couldn't locate it from the Brick, Bricklink um, website. So what I tried was um, just Google search. Bionicle, okay, Lego, big translite blue bionicle triangular part. So it shows up all the history of my search, which is good. And I clicked on the image part, and I was like, it took me quite a while to search for that thing. And then at the end of the page, there's not many, not many images loaded up here anyway, but at the almost at the end of it, I think it was like located over this side or something and it got just pushed up to this side over here which means like more photos have been uploaded or or has been deleted up there uh, I don't know anyway this one right here is the one I was like wondering 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 so I tried everything Lego big trans light blue although it didn't come up as trans light blue it's a red one but um, bionicle trans part and Bionicle, uh, uh, yeah, this is the keyword. Uh, um, I thought like it was never gonna work, but it worked eventually. Triangular, you have to put in triangular to search for this thing. Doesn't really look much of a tri triangular stuff, but eventually I found it, and I saw the um, piece number, which is like four seven triple three. So I found it. So like this is the exact, uh, the one exactly that I found yesterday. A trans light blue one, and I searched for where it's coming from, and it's pretty much the same thing over here. Uh, A6 19, A6 version one, version two, Vaki Kirok, Vaki Kirok limited edition. So it's like kind of exclusive, I would say. This uh, the one on top is like um, Bionicle miscellaneous ass assortment of pieces all together, so it doesn't mean anything. The one down here is the thing. He's like putting it on like a cap or hat, like on top of his head or something, or maybe on his back. And since I haven't got much of those um, pieces, it doesn't really mean anything. So I'll just skip it. And let's go straight to the wanted list here. So like in my account, in my Bricklink wanted list, there's tons of tons of lists like, okay, 740 lists right here, which is all the set number and uh, unique park, no, parts, lots here that shows like how many people, oh, like uh, what are the different kinds of pieces that I need to complete those sets like Toa, Undersea Attack Toa, Tower of Toa, Monster Jumper, 
all these kind of sets that I've um, included into my Bricklink wanted list to get it um, restored or make a restoration of. So, which doesn't really mean that I'm going to buy all these parts from the Bricklink list, but I've just um, made a list of it so I can get more organized. And on the bottom of it, there is a default wanted list, and I'm you know, people use um, all the uh, the internet and websites differently. And me, like for me, I just use this to help me, not specifically to buy uh, things from Europe through Bricklink, but this will help me get organized and more focused on uh, some parts, particular parts that I would like to buy. So I've created this like list long ago and it has there's about like 174 items. <clears throat> oh, I should get it organized into color. No, item name, item name is just fine. Okay. So like um this default one list in my Bricklink account is a list of parts that I would like to get particularly like just keeps on thinking about it like it, it keeps coming on in my memory and like you know when I go to bed I cannot forget about it or something like that something big and major stuff that I would like to get like I would give about like a 10 out of 10 when I find it in one of those purchased bulk parts those specific parts, uh, th this is not everything that I would need uh, for all the restoration of, of all the sets, but those specific parts would be difficult to get, uh, hard to get, and rare pieces that I personally um, feel interested. And I have, uh, I cannot list all the things that I need, so I've made a short list of this default wanted list and have listed all the parts that I would, you know, usually typically would like to get. So the blue, okay, the first, I would have to delete the, the, the things that I already have, I, you know, with the help of um, my latest purchases, I probably have a couple of more pieces that I already have, and I don't need to keep it into my wanted list anymore, so I would, now, let me just go through it once again. Those airplane cockpit and um, tail pieces, I would still need those pieces. I still haven't got them. And the base plates like this and this and this, I, I would still need them. These are the parts that I still do not have out of all those 400 kilo of Lego bulk purchases. Lately, I um, kind of got into the trend. Got into a trend of getting lots of uh, platform pieces like these. I think I got about like enough for no. There's still five wanted, ten wanted. I got about like a couple of these, or three, or maybe five of these. So I still need more. So let's just skip it into the wanted list this time. This is for the Ferrari pit lane and base plate so I would need that I still need this um, airport base plate <coughs> I still need this bandits uh, runaway or hideaway thing what's the name of it bandit secret hideout it is see like I remember all those names now almost maybe in the next time I will remember all the set numbers as well Bandit secret hideout it is, I have targeted, like, let's say for example, I have targeted for a restoration <clears throat> of this set, and I would still need about, like, um, many, many parts, like, let's say I have about 50% of the parts, uh, to build this set, uh, the rest of the 50% of the parts, I would not list it up here, but somewhere else, like, in my list actually in my set list so um, but particularly the difficult th difficult thing that I would like to get would be or the um, the most likely thing the favorable thing will be the base plate out of this uh, whole thing anyway like it shows up in my bricklink rebrickable website that um, I've already collected a great majority of the uh, parts anyway come on come on where did it go where, where did it go 
okay just disappear so like on my replicable website it already shows that I've got 98% of the parts to complete this set which doesn't necessarily mean that I actually have 98% I actually have 98% maybe according to based on the um, the parts registered up here but I did not physically assorted uh, 98 percent of the parts into this bag in my box I have this is just the simple calculation of the parts calculated by all the parts that I have so maybe out of 98 percent maybe some parts are still in the other bag for the this restoration of other set so that doesn't necessarily mean that I do have 98 percent in this bag <clears throat> but I can still um, build this set 98% by collecting all the pieces from you know here and there so I can still do that but I uh, still you know would not want to do that because <clears throat> I still got other project or sets that I would like to try collect pieces for but but this is like actually the thing that I really need, like, you know, those are the pieces that I do not have registered, do not, uh, do not have, simply don't have these pieces. Because, like, you know, those pieces never came to my hand and I have um, didn't, did not um, register up into the replicable website. So this is what I, what I really need. The base plate. I think I have collected enough vehicle track, light bluish gray or something. Oh, this is light gray, two light gray ones. And I think I got about that, like those um, hat, cowboy hat, in light bluish gray color, and with some mark on it too. But not sure about the brown one, so maybe I do not, you know, have those pieces. But anyway, this is what I need, and um, I think I got these pieces. <coughs> In my last purchase, maybe <clears throat> or maybe not. It's a 32 by 32, but seven stud, uh, seven stud stuff. So how many I got? I don't know. Like I, I need, I need two, two of it. Maybe I got one last time. Okay, let me pause the video and look at my. Okay, wh wait, wait a minute. Let me check on here. This is Century Skyway. I need two for that. Okay, this is like my uh, the photo, a screenshot photo of my purchase history right here, and let's see what I got. Uh, this is the guy who was trying to sell those um, trolls and some base plates. So out of the base plates right here, I got the uh, the road pattern base plates like this and that. Oh, it was actually light blue, a uh, light gray one that I got for the train manu uh, manual. Um, lever this is some train set okay now where, where's the green one i actually did not get the uh, something hidden inside hidden behind i wonder what that is i already forgotten oh so it was this one okay so i got one two three maybe four five six seven uh, I still didn't get the green one then. Okay, let's go, go back to the list here. I will still need two for the Century Skyway. Okay, let's just skip it. Okay. But this one is the one that I got yesterday or a couple of days ago. The um, base plate roll 32 by 32. The seven stud. This is the important stuff. Seven. Sometimes, because sometimes the, the the Lego company has the released a, a different version with a nine stud or eight stud or something. But this is a seven stud straight uh, runway crosswalk pattern. <coughs> and where do I need this? I need this in my default wanted list because I have made a separate list on it. And particularly, specifically, I need this for the 6339 a shuttle launch pad, shuttle launch pad. So this is exactly what I need. <clears throat> and in my shuttle launch pad list, oh, it actually shows all the, all the, this is my actual list. Okay, but anyway, 
Uh, to complete the shuttle launch pad, I would need those uh, parts. A lot of them. A lot of them. Okay. This base plate, 16 by 32. I got quite a lot. But did not actually put in the piece into this bag. I would need all those pieces to complete that set. Page number two. Hmm. I think I got pretty much all those. Yeah, I, I, I got it yesterday. The wheel holder in yellow color, which is quite rare. And the sticker on the landing gear, this one as well. That was included in my latest purchase. Although, <laughs> the sticker doesn't really look as clear as this. But still, okay, let me stop getting uh, distracted and uh, focus on my list work oh this one I, I i got it yesterday yeah anyway so like it was about 174 174 unique lots in my special list i can delete this one so i, I would not need this anymore <clears throat> so the thing is about like this list is um Okay, like I'm trying to make a short list of what I need and whenever I see anything in the sales posting in, in the market, like when the keyword alarm comes to me, I look at the photo and search for, you know, the list, the listed parts from the short list so I can quickly search for it and then make a decision. So it will also help me purchasing a domestic purchase. Or I can actually like, you know, send the whole list to the seller and ask for, you know, those parts. If you have these parts, please include them in, in it. So that, that's what I'm trying to work on. <clears throat> so the base plates around here, I still need those. Um, <clears throat> I think I got this one last time, didn't I? No, not this one. But this one looks similar, but, but it's so totally green without the gray pa road pattern so it's a different one uh, makes me wonder where do I need this again just trying to remind me again the city style city type a gray road pl uh, plate uh, a and WB breakdown assistance it's pretty funky old is that 30 year old 40 year old I'm still trying to go back to somewhere in Denmark or in Europe in 30 years ago and trying to restore this old, funky old set. Let's have a look at this once again if I go to the list and, you know. The set actually looks like 1590. So if I go to the rebrickable website and type in the set number, this is the set that I would like to make a restoration of. And that was the role plate that I listed down there. So this is this is what I want to what I would really really like to see reconstructed in my Lego world. Something pretty old, isn't it? That was released in 1982 and I still have nostalgic and I still feel nostalgic and about this. Oh, the Rebrickable has a free an automatic um, feature of automatic slide feature okay so the car right here you, re you guys re remember this yellow car and it has a, s a similar different type of yellow car like this mini car yellow car and the red car you know like they have uh, much better sophisticated bigger and uh, better designed cars these days but to me this is the real Lego car like windscreen in the front in the back with the rooftop hinge and simple wheels like that and the door open on the side this is Lego car to me and the yellow one as well in the similar design and style so yeah I would still need this I uh, wonder if I that was 50 years ago isn't it like it was 1982 so 18 and oh uh, 38, almost like 40, 40 years ago. Okay, let's keep on looking. I need, I still need the D type, D type uh, road. I need those two as well. And then, uh, what about this one? What is it? 
Road pattern, a driveway. I think I already got it here. Where is that? Oh, this one. Now how many would I need? Uh, I need two. So I got uh, one recently. So I need one in the emergency treatment center. I need another one in a uh, metro PD station. Emergency treatment center, metro PD station. Okay, at least um, now that I got one just recently, I can reduce the n number to one only. And then it's gonna be applied to this list. Oh yeah, this guy, the musician, the Bith musician, three of them. I actually need three to restore the um, most likely cantina. But I have just listed just one, since this is just the default list for me. Like, if I could get only one sample of this guy, I would still be happy. And some boat holes that I would like to get. Not that I particularly really want to restore something, but those boat hole pieces, um, you know, it could be quite useful to create anything if I use my own creativity. And this is a, um, boat hole. Um, this is really hard to get these days because uh, this this type of boat hull, which is like wider, is um, used for barracuda or skull's eye schooner. You know the the iconic, uh, legendary um, pirate ship back in the old days. And people these days they they have gotten smarter these days, and they would much rather you know build the ship itself and sell it m much at a much higher coat like price so this is like almost like an endangered species you, you cannot find these anymore and I still need the boat hull in this is in brown color isn't it four of them last night I got about uh, four of them didn't I I got about three three reddish brown one and uh, one black one but let's see how many of those I need. I need three for the Black Seas Barracuda. I need one for Caribbean Clipper. I need so that makes four. Now that I got uh, lots of reddish brown ones up here, this is for the Viking Ship Challenges, the Midgar Serpent. So I will fill it up here and delete this right here. But I still haven't got the brown classic old brown one, did I? Did I ever get a brown one let me double check those are the pieces I got more recently and from this guy I bought all those parts and I think there was one of those boat holes in from here actually this is a brown one and I bought um, those parts except the Viking one the Viking one the the seller wanted to keep it to himself but this and this those two are brown ones, aren't they? So that one's like reddish brown. So I, I think I still am um, left with the one brown down here. So maybe I can uh, put one down. I can use one for the Caribbean Clipper. So maybe I can put one down. And save. Alright. This Armida flagship, the front stern part. Bow part, bow and stern. Bow part is really hard to get, hard to find. And this one right here. Okay. I got them right here. Those are what I got. Including the mid part as well. The white one and brown one. I got all of them. And where do I need these? In the Imperial flagship. And the Renegade runner. Let's have a look. Two sets, Imperial flagship and Renegade runner. This one really looks like the small version of Skull's Eye Schooner. But anyways, I would need uh, two pieces for each set, and I think I have collected all two pieces for them, because that's one of my uh, recent purchase. And more recently, which is like yesterday, I got another one of these. So what I can do is I can actually delete this from the list. I would not I, I do not need this anymore. I got all two for all the different sets. 
And I got the white one. And I got the brown one. Only one for that. Yeah. And I actually got two of it. <laughs> which is funny. And I also got this one, didn't I? Let's have a look. Right there. Um, with the white one and brown one. This was just one of those photos that he showed me just for fun, just to tease me, but he didn't actually sell it to me, or give, gave it to me. Or like, what was that? That's the Gungan Submarine tail part, which did, did which he didn't sell it to me. Alright. So yeah, I can pretty much de delete all those things. Oh, this one as well, on the bottom, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the bow part, there's the stern part, this is another stern part, which looks identical. Yeah, except a different color. Okay, I, I would only need this bolt hole. And those bolt holes are pretty old and I think I still want them. Because I got the midsection, and this is a big one for the city cargo line. And some bolt mast rigging, and Boba Fett. I've just uh, put this in to the list because uh, I've learned that the uh, this is the uh, the most expensive um, minifigure in the world at the moment or not. I don't know w whether it has been updated or not. There could be something more expensive than this, but the last time I checked, it was about like two hundred dollar. And let me double check once again. The price guide shows. Uh, Holy moly, freaking, it's like $800 now, okay, for the used one. For the new one, it's like thousand, thousand, uh, uh, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. This is crazy, this is crazy. The price has skyrocketed now. Okay, for the used one, it would be about $800. Last time I checked was $200, which was like about 3 years ago, when I created this list or something. For the new one, uh, where they sell it, is $2,000. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh well. I'll just forget about this. And I would need this panel piece as well, and I would love to have this um, dwarf, uh, what is that? Troll? Oh yeah, I can delete this one as well, because I got it yesterday. And I still need those, um, some functional gimmick pieces and... Golf ball sphere, where do I need this? Because I got it last time from the guy from the church. Let me double check. Where do I need all these parts? Especially the white one. I need only one in the solar explorer, but I think this one also goes into the Star Wars Y-Wing. Uh, Starfighter or something. Okay, 31 sets. Okay, the one goes in here. And two goes in uh, TIE Fighter and Y-Wing. Let's have a look at the photo. So, I think I still did not, have not included this into my Bricklink Wanted list. Because this one doesn't, you know, it, the list doesn't show that I need uh, the two pair, one pair. For that, I only included, um created the, um, you know, 7315 uh, Solar Explorer list, restoration list into my brick uh, wanted list. Maybe I still, I still need those parts. But now that I got it, yeah, like, I would, I would still need uh, another one for that. The white one, Celestial Stinger, Miss Lance Tower, I think I got it last time, yeah. And Dubek, of course. I really, really want to have a Dubek to complete my Mos Eisley Cantina set. And some dino dinosaur, pre flying dinosaur, birdie dinosaur. Uh, terra, Terra means land, doesn't it? Terra, Terra no Dawn, Terra no Dawn. Whatever they call it. And dinosaur, Spinosaurus. Dinosaur Toy Story Rex. I'd like to have those, you know, guys into my collection as well. 10x10 10 10 dish. Reddish brown color is used for the MTT. I need a couple of them. And I need this one. Glow in dark. Ghost face uh, dish. 4x4. 
Um, still, I still don't think I have this one yet. This dish is for the, you know, the Yoda's, uh, Yoda's base. Yoda's uh, secret hideout. I need this one for Yoda. Master Yoda, X-Wing fighter and... Uh, X-Wing fighter, okay. I need this one for the Yoda house, you know. It just like, looks like a hamburger up there, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, let's go. And I need a couple of or three white doors for this compartment section. What do you call this thing actually? Door. Okay, door with six pane. Six pane door, I would call it. I need um six pane door. Black one was for the cafe. Okay, the, the cafe corner. It goes into the cafe corner. So yesterday I got the, the black door, black six pane door, and just a simple um, uh, red door, red frame door, a couple of them, belo which belong to building Bonanza. But I can actually use the black six pane door for the restoration of uh, Cafe Corner. So I need one in there. And I need a blue one, and I need many, many, many white ones that goes into... Set number 1484, Townhouses. This is a Weetabix promotion, like, you know, came out a long time ago. And one for Weekend Home, another one for Weekend Cottage. So, a uh, total, I would need about 1, 2, 3, 4. But the default one list is 3. So, probably I have counted one down bec uh, because I've got one just recently somewhere. I've forgotten. But I still need 3. For all these sets. Um, okay. The light bluish gray one or a light gray one. Yeah, the simple uh, door door with glass. And a yellow one too. I need all those um, doors. And these are the uh, tra train door section. All those um, door type that goes into mostly. The red one is for the idea set. But the gray ones with the stripe pattern mostly goes into Metro Liner. I think this one is for the Harry Potter or something. And the black train door, sliding door as well. It's a rare one that is hard to find these days. And the this one is like interesting door frame in tan color. And let me see where it belongs. Tan, only one. It belongs to Hogwarts Castle. So I, I would need one for that. I think I got like different stuff, like reddish brown or something, or just black one maybe. Yeah, this one along together with this one. Like I, th I'm, I think it's supposed to. They're supposed to put and like this one in there. Fit in. Or let's have a look at the dragon now. I think dragon number one, dragon number three, 